Hello, I'm Mike Dolan. Thank you so much for coming to the 2020 Spartan Film Festival. Uh, we have this little chat thing going on the side so you can put a chat in as you watch the movies. Uh, let's keep, let's bring our better selves to those chats, be positive. Um, it's great to be together with all of you and I'm seeing a chat, somebody's asking a question, asking a question. Why the hat? Thanks Gus, great question. The hat, I don't know about you guys, but I have not been able to get to the salon. So my hair, as you know, you know, it gets pretty crazy. So it's, imagine Peter Frampton and I just jammed it all in there. But thanks for the question. Erin, okay, so she's asking me, what have I been doing differently? I don't know, I've been eating a lot of dessert. That's all I can say, just lots of dessert. Anybody else with that? Every day, I never used to do that. Okay, uh, thanks, yes. So many people to thank. Uh, Mr. Wyburn, uh, Robert Wyburn and Cam Allen are always extremely helpful and available to help out all the kids as the kids are running around trying to make films. A little different this year, obviously, in the spring term. Uh, Miss Brewstein. She is so cool when film kids go in the space and do what film kids do, which is make a ton of noise, come up with a ton of crazy ideas, and then maybe shoot just a little of it. Uh, and she's super accommodating. Thank you. Miss Moon, always great leadership. Um, also really want to shout out to the, uh, the leadership of the school. They're leading us, I think, in a very consistent and cohesive way as we go through this incredibly challenging time, difficult time, uh, tragic time. Add your adjective to the chat. Um, so you should see the emails these guys send out. I mean, <whistles> impressive. My emails are like, mm, this, this is like, this is, this is leadership. Okay, uh, the other thing, um, Yvonne Adams and the DEI team have been doing an amazing job as the country is sort of reeling from, from a lot of awareness and action around social justice and her team are leading us to, you know, make sure we have each other's backs and do a better job with that. So that's been awesome. And the kids, students, you guys, I miss you so much. Uh, we have a lot of fun in film class. Uh, I remember one time there was a big argument going on earlier in the, in the advanced film class and Gus, Gus just looked up and says, I love this class. Anyway, opinions, people, we have opinions. Uh, Films get a little more advanced as they go forward. I mean, a critic might say that. I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm objective. Um, now, there were some bad Google classes uh, in the film department, I will say that, led by me. And, and I videotaped them, and I'm going to share them with you, and I don't care. No, I, I, told, I told the students. They're okay with it. Um, I think it's just really reflected of the time, so that's cool. Um, so be nice on the chat. Thanks for coming. Uh, get some popcorn, sit back, uh, stay for the end. The seniors get a little, you know, celebration at the end. We'll be doing that more. And uh, thanks. Feminazis even before I learned the word feminism. Feminazis was the word that I first read on Facebook. I did not know what it meant. I was in eighth grade and did not put much attention in women's rights. I thought it was an extreme woman organization that would fade away soon. I did not understand why we still needed to demand our rights when we have more serious issues to solve like global warming. I thought the word feminism would divide and cause more conflict between men and women. I thought equality was the better and safer word. However, when I learned what truly feminism represented, I started to reflect on my past thoughts and actions. I did not have a problem wearing an abaya in ridiculously hot weather while my dad and brother wore shorts. In fact, I thought it was the special culture that made Saudi Arabia unique. During the holidays, I did not have a problem when my brother got to sit with male relatives at the big table while my mom and I sat at the small table. I did not have a problem when a guy who had a crush on me treated me roughly to conceal his feelings. I did not question why there are more stay-at-home moms than dads. I did not question why flowers are always described as pretty, not handsome. After these few thoughts, I found absurd how women, although quantitatively are not minoritized people, 
We're living in this misogynistic society that made our opinions and existence minoritized. And I, as a woman, used to not have problems with it. Whenever I speak up about this issue, some people tell me that I'm oversensitive or making myself look masculine. Whenever I wear slacks in recitals instead of a dress, some people tell me that it withers my femininity. I used to care about their opinions and was afraid of their judgments. Now I don't. In fact, I'm proud of myself for speaking up about this taboo subject in front of my conservative relatives. I'm proud of myself for having the courage to wear whatever I want. I'm proud of myself for supporting other human beings. I'm proud of myself for making me feel comfortable for being a woman. It defines me as a feminist and as a woman. I'm just going to be really honest. I mean, I know it's hard online and everything, but this is like Citizen Kane. I'm asking you to blog about Citizen Kane, for Pete's sake. Come on, Dolan. Citizen Kane is boring. Somebody playing guitar? Stop that, please. What is going on? I think we need a musical interlude to spice yeah, up class. Just going off the... Yeah, go ahead. Knowing yourself, you forgetting yourself, seeing no. what yourself can do. I think this is much more interesting than class. End of my rope. Forget it. Have your own and when I'm with another, another a woman, man, or child, child try, try to really listen. listen. Right I threw the words for truth. truth. The kind you see in a narrow eyes, it blinks back a tear. The kind you know when you feel the pinch of other folks' shoes. Well, it's, well, it's other, other folks' shoes. shoes. It's, it's other folks' shoes. It's walking in their moccasins a mile or maybe two. It's knowing yourself, forgetting yourself, seeing what you say to do to. Be walked around in this world of other folks' shoes. Be walked around in the world of other folks' shoes. See, that was much better than class. Yeah. That was better than class. Does we have another one we could play?
What is the hardest part of being a gardener? All the plants dying from insects, deer, droughts, flood, you name it. It's been a lot tougher to grow stuff out here than I expected. Well, I mean, it's hard to manicure the whole thing. But yeah, no, we try to keep the understory for all the different species that live in it and use it. So, we didn't want to just mow the whole thing down, plus it's much more beautiful with the understory. pine Charlie Brown because when we planted him around Christmas time he was real small and scraggly. Gay and I planted, oh, is it five years ago now? He was so tiny and crippled looking that we called him Charlie for Charlie Brown. See there's a dog chasing deer. He's not supposed to do that. You can see the scars on it where the buck deer have come along and rubbed their antlers on it during the rut damaging this tree so that's why I put barbed wire enclosures around him to protect it. This is a slash pine, not a loblolly. It's very similar. As a matter of fact, if you look at the two of them side by side, they're hard to tell apart. But it's even a little more native than the loblolly pine. On average, how many plants do you water a day? Oh, I try not to water at all, but we're in a drought. So, I don't know, maybe a dozen? Is that rain? I feel rain. Keep on video and you're bringing rain. This cypress tree, which I planted, has been infested with termites, and it's going to fall over. Watch out, Waterson! Waterson, move! 
There you go. You know, I suppose termites are important. This planet would be covered in a massive mound of dead, decaying, rotting wood if we didn't have termites to consume it. They're a scavenger decomposer, and they decompose wood for us, so I guess that's a good thing, but it's a real bummer when they infest a live tree and then decompose it and kill it. You ready? You ready? Uh, I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah! The mother boys don't know how to act. Yeah! If that's your girl, better watch your back. Yeah! Cause she'll burn it up for me and that's a fact. Yeah! Sexy back. Yeah. I can still recall our last season. I still see it all. Acting night and day, your last shake, shake, hooray. Our last season, wishing you could stay. From great big hugs to lots of laughter, you have held us all in one way or another. Directing and being a star, we had faith and you've come so far. Thank you. 
Just say it, Michelle. You need to say it. Look, say that you like her. Look, say that you like her. Chelsea, I know that you know that I know. Yes! Be a shit on. Give a speech. Give a speech like you guys. Like, uh, no. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. <laughs>
a reminder. I'm sorry about last night. You stress me out when you out of the house. You need to respond to your phone, okay? I always have nightmares of driving you to the hospital, so when you do that stuff, it's really scary. I wasn't really in my right mind, you know? I'll start laying off the wine, and you'll start controlling your little urges. Got it? Zero over zero. Like zero, 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 zero,
Jeremy. I hope you have a great day. I have to run to the pharmacy, but I'll see you tonight. Hey, let's spend some time together. We should play a board game. We haven't done that in a while. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Come in. Oh, hi, Jennifer. Oh, hi, Miss <clears throat> Is that? Do you already know each other? Uh, no. I sorry. I think I'm mistaken. Someone. This is Neon. This is Nyon. Uh, my bad. Um. Nyon is our new Korean exchange student oh. and so I thought Jennifer you could help show her around a little bit and okay. get used to the school. Yeah, 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 sure. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Hi, I'm Nyon. Okay, I'll let you two talk. Okay. Bye, Nyon. Bye, Miss Julia. Okay. <laughs> Jennifer? That's what I go by here, okay? <sighs> I thought you were staying in Korea. I was born in the United States. I was born in the United States. Oh, that sucks. But you're already going back. I'm going to go back. you're already going back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go Oh, okay. 어쨌든 나 간다. Okay, bye. <clears throat> Jim, you're 6'11", and you weigh 90 pounds. Gumby has a better body than you. Boom. Roast it. Hey, what's going to do? 5분 안에 갈게. What are you watching? 아무것도 아니라고. 나가. Okay. Don't be late. Okay. Dwight, you're a kiss ass. Boom, roasted. Pam, you failed art school. Boom, roasted. This is a Korean food. This is actually a good one. Why do you like this? I mean, it's not that bad. Don't be so judgy. That's just what they do here. Hey, try this. It's kind of spicy. It's curry. Oh, it's curry. I think it is. Yeah. I think it is. Okay, you need to stop saying that I'm not Korean because it's getting really annoying. Did I tell you about this? You're not Korean. Why? Yeah, you're a Korean girl and you're speaking English. You're not speaking one word. You're not speaking one word. You're not speaking one word. Wait, what? Yeah, you're not speaking one word. Okay, I think you're taking this too far. Yeah. You're eating a lot of food. You're eating a lot of food. Okay, it's not like I can't eat spicy food, Nayeon. You know, if I tried, I bet I can eat spicy food better than you. <laughs> Fine, let's do it then. This Saturday. I mean, you bring your spiciest food and I bring my spiciest food and let's see who lasts. Okay, if I win, you can't say that I'm not Korean and you have to speak English for the rest of the year. And if you win, 
I'll change my name to a Korean one and speak Korean for the rest of the year. Very cute. Edwan, you go where? 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 How far away is it? We're getting there. You better be. All right. I'll check. Hmm. I don't have service. Jesus. No service? I thought we had a good camping spot. Come on. Hey, I have service. Oh, what is it? It's just a news article about Trump. It doesn't really... Let's hear it. Okay, um, let's see. It says that Trump increases the tariff with China. We had to do that. Someone has to punish them. It's the only way to end the communist regime. Those people are only suffering because of the tariffs. Hey guys, just show up, man. Have a drink. more. Huh. That can't be right. U.S. ambassador pulled out of China? Look what your president caused! Fake news. Where are you reading that? CNN. You just don't want to believe that Trump could screw this up so bad. You're lying. I can show you, I swear. It'll just... Whoa, God damn it! That's fake news! You people just want to blame him for everything, but really... Really? What? Really? But let's you miss us talking about U.S. Everything. cities. First Sick shelter. Kavanaugh, oh my God, you know, holy shit. This Ukraine hey, 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 shut up! Shut, shut up! Your nukes headed towards us! Look at missiles! I told you! Hey. This stupid president hey. is gonna kill us hey. all! Back you saw that, right? Back up, back up! Hey! Hey! Hey, wait! Stop! Stop! We... We need help. We... We accidentally... 
Wait, what are you what doing? What are you doing out here? I thought the world was over. World ended? What are you talking about? The news articles. The messages. The alerts. No, no, no. That's all fake. A bunch of news sources were hacked last night. Yeah, I thought it was the Russians. Uh, a bunch of news stations said it this morning. Wait. Is that blood in your face? What the hell happened? Wait. My city, king of my country, king of my homeland King of the filthy, king of the fallen We living again King of the shooters, looters, boosters and ghettos popping King of the past, present, future, my ancestors watching King of the culture, king of the soldiers King of the bloodshed, king of the wisdom King of the ocean, king of the respect King of the optimistic and dreamers that go and get it King of the winners, district and geniuses Terrible for your grades. I guess I'm dropping now. Let me down easy. If you're gonna let me down, let me know. Let me know right now. Decompose it and kill it. You ready? You ready? Uh, I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. The mother boys don't know how to act. Yeah. Faculty, that moment when we line up on either side of that sidewalk and y'all come through is one of the best times of the year for all of us to see you all celebrating all of your hard work and all of your success. Believe. Scene. I'm on anxiety. What? Never mind. Look, it's my senior year. I want to get out of here. You want me to get out of here. The messages, the alerts. No, no, no. That's all fake. A bunch of news sources were hacked last night. Yeah, I thought it was the right. <laughs> Whenever I wear slacks in recitals instead of a dress, some people tell me that it withers my femininity.
Thank you for being flexible. We're using Google Meets because of the Zoom bombings. How do we know that Google Meets is any safer than Zoom was? Well, I mean, we don't, you know, but, but I don't know. You know, if we get bombed, uh, it might be fun. Who knows? I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. So don't worry about it. Mr. Nolan, I don't think you should make jokes like that. I think that's really... Okay. So what's going on? Who's been making uh, quarantine films? Um, well, I had this weird dream where Cookie and I were making these central pottery projects. Hey, don't call me Cookie. My mom doesn't like that. Mr. Dolan, I gotta say, this is my least favorite part of film class, so can I go? What, singing and, and talking to us? Yes. What? No, Parker, no, you cannot go. Mr. Nolan, can I get dress coded on Google Meets? No, Aaron. You're fine. We we can't even see you. Oh, perfect. Hey, Peter, what is that? Your next Jason.